All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. And what has been hidden from this foundation of the world is the mystery of Christ. It's salvation through Christ. And in Ephesians chapter 3, Paul talks about the mystery that has been hidden from the foundation of the world. And that is that the Jews together with the Gentiles become one in Christ. That it's not through Moses and through the law, but it is through Christ that salvation comes to the Jews and to the Gentiles. And this is a mystery that has been hidden from the foundation. It's, it's been there all along, but people have struggled to see it because it comes through faith and it comes through grace. But we're so used to thinking works because our minds are full of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And so we have law-based thinking. It's the basic elements of this world. It's the beggarly elements of this world. It's this belief. It's God's law instinctive in us that we know what is right and wrong, what is good and bad. It's our conscience. It's the law that was written on our conscience. And it's this belief that if I do good, I'll get good. If I do bad, I'll get bad. And so everything, blessings, cursed, is based upon what I do. And that's the, the old thinking. That's why we need to renew our minds. And that's why repentance is changing the way we think. We need to turn away from that old way, that old path, and turn towards Christ. Turn towards faith in Christ. Because Christ is the mystery that was hidden from ages past. God never ever intended for mankind to relate to him through the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It was always through the tree of life. And Jesus is the tree of life. God never wanted us to relate to him through our own righteousness and through our own works and trying to be good enough. No, he, he knows we'll never be good enough. And our righteousness can always fail and make us unholy. And so God, had to, God wanted to make us perfect in righteousness so that he could have a relationship with us based on perfect righteousness, based on his righteousness. And that could only come through Christ and us receiving the gift of righteousness, receiving his righteousness. And Christ was a, a shadow of Christ was right there in the garden when God killed the lamb and he clothed Adam and Eve with the skins of the lamb. Because works the 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 fig leaves the tree of the knowledge of good and evil is 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 human works and human effort to try to cover our nakedness and our shame and our guilt but it didn't work they still ran and hid from god because human effort and works and law is never going to be good enough to get rid of our nakedness so god had to shed the blood of a lamb sacrifice a lamb in order to cover their nakedness uh, and that was only temporarily that was figurative symbolic Christ is the fulfillment. He is the mystery throughout all the ages that one day he was to come. The perfect lamb of God, his blood would be shed for us and it wouldn't just cover our sins. It would permanently and irreversibly remove our sins forever and ever and ever so that we could become the righteousness of God. And all this happens not through our works, but it's simply through faith and receiving Christ in faith. And that's how we're saved. We're born again and enter into the kingdom. And this is the mystery that has been hidden from ages to come. And this is the secret to all the parables, to understanding the parables. And when you see this, then you better interpret all the parables and unlock them because you have the keys. You understand the mystery. And it's very simple. The mystery is Christ and it's faith in Christ. It's not works. It's faith in Christ.